purposeful and persistent actions, the Biden administration has destabilized our southern border and brought about a new era of slavery in America. It's a lie when administration officials claim they have operational control of our southern border. Mexican drug cartels have control of our southern border. And with that control, they move lethal drugs, terrify human cargo, and commit crimes wherever and whenever they are. The vast tsunami of human trafficking is lifting billions in profits for the drug cartels and condemning countless men, women, and children to slavery in America. Disgracefully, this has all been made possible because President Biden, Secretary Mayorkas, and this administration have chosen to serve as nothing more than transportation assistance for narco slavery while they simultaneously berate, demonize, and demoralize the brave men and women of CBP and ICE who should be empowered to stop this ongoing tragedy. From illegal marijuana farms in Oregon, meat packing plants in the Midwest, to prostitution and massage parlors in my own home state, the mainstream press is finally starting to validate what we have been saying about the dangers of Biden's open borders. Narco slaves are being forced to work at gunpoint, sometimes to the point of death. Children as young as 13 are working graveyard shifts in slaughterhouses, and little girls are sold in forced sex that they endure day after day after day, just to pay the drug cartels that Biden has empowered. The very people Biden has not empowered are those who have manned our southern border for years. They put themselves in harm's way, they fought the ravages of the drug cartels, and they're dedicated patriots who want nothing more than to do their jobs for our country. But rather than support the men and women of CBP and ICE, Biden, Mayorkas, and the leftists who control our federal government lie about and demonize these brave officers. CBP and ICE deserve so much better. They deserve our support, our thanks, and for what they do and they endure under impossible and disgraceful circumstances imposed on them by this administration. The American people did not vote for chaos. No Democrat campaign on handing our southern border to Mexican drug cartels. And yet, that's a dire situation that we see every day because of Biden's narco slavery support programs. It's time people were held accountable. It's time the drug cartels were designated as terrorist organizations. It's time that Democrats joined with Republicans to pass a Texas border plan that we've introduced. I'm very proud to be able to stand here today and a new Republican majority, and we will not rest until Biden's era of narco slavery flourishes in America. Thank you. And with that, I am proud to um, introduce another proud Texan, Jake Elsie from the Great State of Texas.